Hello everyone, so for today's video, we will be discussing area under a curve and it comes in the equation integral of f of x dx from a to b where a and b here are our limits, b is the upper limits and a is the lower limits. So we have here an example, find the area bounded by y is equal to ln x, y is equal to 0 and x is equal to e. Now the first thing that we need to do in solving uh, this kind of problem is to plot our graph. Now if we um, substitute some values to our x and y, as you can see here, it is said that the area ba is bounded by x is equal to e. So if we substitute our x by e, meaning to say ln of e, that is also equivalent to 1. And in order for us to get y is equal to 0, if we substitute our y is equal to 0, uh, we can already find the value of our x in which uh, if y is equal to 0, our x here is equivalent to 1. So basically, uh, the tip here is um, what is written here or what is a part of the problem that is given for the area uh, for the boundaries of our area you can plot that one first so that if you already got those uh, values you can uh, sketch it already in our Cartesian plane so for this one e is also um, equivalent uh, approximately equivalent to 2.72 so meaning to say if we grab uh, with if we plot our graph we have one for our x this is our x and this is our y so for the y we also have our zero to one so meaning to say this is our zero and this is our one now plotting this one we have a uh, four x we still have 2.72 so this is still one we need to extend this one until three so we have two and three this is two and 2.72 is somewhere here now plotting this one to our plane or cartesian plane we have uh, y is equal to zero and x is equal to one so i mean to say that's somewhere here and for 2.72 for our x at somewhere here and our y is one so basically it's here now it says here that the that the area is bounded by y is equal to ln x and we know that this plot or the this points here are, are are the values for our y is equal to ln x now y is equal to zero as well it is also bounded by y is equal to zero bounded class that means it is the boundary for our area so y is equal to zero is this one so i'll just use uh, another colored uh, this is our y is equal to zero and our x is equal to e is here this is e for y is equal to ln x this is the curve so this is our y is equal to ln x this is our x is equal to e and this uh, line here is our y is equal to zero so that being said since we are looking for the uh, we need to plot the equation right after and we know that the equation of our area is equivalent to a to b and then f of x dx our f of x here is ln x so we have ln x dx now for the limits um if we uh, solve this one using vertical strip meaning to say this one we are solving this strip now if you can see class um our strip here can be uh, extended indefinitely towards our x since it is uh, it is changing in uh with respect to x so meaning to say our limit now is from 1 to e so this is this should be 1 to e so this is now the uh, formula for our area so again we now have the equation of our area which is the integral of ln x dx from 1 to e now in order to sol to solve our function we, we can use um, integration by parts here. So our u will become ln x 
in our du is the derivative of ln x which is dx over x and our dv will be the dx and we know that the, the, the integral of dx is x plus c now uh, rewriting that one we have ln x times our u times v which is x times ln x so we have x ln of x minus integral of um, integral of our v which is x times the derivative of our u which is dx over x now we can cancel this one this is from 1 to e and we need to so solve this one as well from 1 to e now um, combining this one we have x ln of x minus the derivative the integral of dx which is x and then we now have to solve for our limits from 1 to e so substituting our upper limits from our equation we have e ln of e minus e minus the lower limits which is 1 times ln of 1 we have ln 1 minus our 1 so if you calculate this one this is equivalent also to 0 minus um, negative 1 so basically the area of our problem is equivalent to 1 square units so this is now the answer for our problem here another example find the area bounded by the curve y is equal to 9 minus x squared in the x-axis so meaning to say our boundaries here are only two y is equal to 9 minus x squared in the x-axis now the first thing to uh, to do again is to sketch the graph and by sketching the graph we need to find the values to plot to our graph so uh, using our function, we have, uh, we can find the value for our x and y for us to have some points in which we can use to plot to our graph. Now, if we say that our x is equal to 0, if you calculate this 1, 9 minus 0 squared, that is 9. And if our x is equal to 1, we have 9 minus 1, that is 8. If x is equal to 2... We have 4, 9 minus 4, that is 5. And if our x is equal to 3, 9 minus 3 squared, that is 0. So basically, you you just uh, the time you need to stop um, substituting values is when you see a common denominator between the x and the y. So in this case, we can already see x. Uh, I mean, we can already z see 0 from our x and we can already see our zero and our y now if we try to substitute this one again with a negative value meaning this negative one if we plot this one here uh nine minus negative one squared we still have the same value which is eight then we have negative two we have um five and for negative three we also have zero so as you can see if you can observe our values here meaning to say uh, our graph is or our curve is symmetric so you can just choose to um, plot this one in one quadrant only or you can also plot this one it uh, in two quadrants so if we try to plot this one in two quadrants we can have um, from this is 1, 2, and 3, negative 1, 2, and 3. Then we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and our 9. So plotting this one, 0 to 9, so we have this point. 1 to 8, we have this point. 2 to 5, that is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, so it's somewhere here. 3 and 0 it's here now also if you plot this one you can get the same value so we have negative 1 and 8 negative 2 and 5 and negative 3 and 0 so that being said we have this
asymmetric curve. So again, you can just um, choose if you'd like to solve one quadrant only, but of course you have to multiply that by two. And if you if you want, you can also solve this one by whole. Because if we just solve this one, like the first quadrant only, as we know, we have no boundaries between our y-axis. So meaning to say, this part here is still open. So I, uh, since our area uh, is bounded by the x-axis, this one, and our curve, which is 9 minus x squared. So this curve here is our function, which is y is equal to 9 minus x squared. And this line is our boundary meaning to say we have already enclosed our area so our area is here so for the limits uh, as you can see if we will be solving this one in terms of our vertical axis or vertical strip meaning to say if we solve this one and put some vertical strip somewhere just uh, inside our area if we put our vertical strip here and as we know, this is a change of x. So, meaning to say, the limits is from negative 3 to positive 3. Now, if we, if we will be solving this one in terms of change in y or the horizontal strip, meaning to say, our limits will be from 0 to 9. Because this is a vertical strip and then because it it's also intends to um, extend indefinitely towards our y so that's why our limit will be 0 to 9 and for the dx that's negative 3 to 3 so solving our equation by the vertical strip as we know it can be solved uh, in two ways by a vertical strip and horizontal strip so first we will be discussing how to solve our area in vertical strip as we know in vertical strip that is area is equivalent to a to b f of x and then the dx that's for the vertical strip but if you say that's horizontal strip um, we'll discuss that one later so from our function earlier we have uh, if we would like to solve that one in one quadrant only meaning to say uh, we need to multiply our equation by 2 and then our limits will be from 0 to positive 3 and then our function of x, which is equivalent to 9 minus x squared dx. So we have 2 integral of 0 to 3, 9. We have 9 dx minus 2 integral of 0 to 3 x squared dx. Now we can already integrate this one. So we have... Um, 2 times 9, that's 18x minus 2x cubed over 3 and then the, in the limits which is from 0 to 3. So substituting our upper limits, we have 18 times 3 minus 2, 3 cubed all over 3. And as we know, if you multiply each of our term by 0, that's zero so you just have to put minus zero so in ca to calculate this one this is equivalent now to 36 square units so since we are looking for area the the unit will be square units that is um in constant so now this is our final answer so another way is also if you don't like to um to solve for the first quadrant only meaning to say uh, your limits will just be changed. That was from negative 3 to 3. And then our function, which is 9 minus x squared dx. So basically the same process. It's just that we need to uh, change our limits. Because for the first, uh, first uh, solution, we just have divided it by 2 but multiplied it by 2 after. So meaning to say our limits here... If we include the second quadrant, that's from negative 3 to 3. Now, same process. We have the integral of 9 dx minus integral of x squared dx. And of course, we know we have our limits here. So integrating this one, we have 9x minus x cubed over 3. And that is from negative 3 to 3. Now, substituting... 
our limits to the value uh, to the our variable so we have 9 minus 9 times 3 minus 3 cubed all over 3 minus our lower limit which is 9 times negative 3 minus negative 3 cubed all over 3 so we got here um, this is equivalent to 18 minus negative 18 so that gives us positive 36 square units so basically the same as earlier so another way of solving our equation is by using horizontal strip so if you can remember in solving the area of the vertical strip that was equivalent to um, y dx or i have written it as equivalent to f of x dx but in solving you uh solving our equation using horizontal strip this will be changed since we are now changing the strips that we will be using so meaning to say this will become x dy we will just interchange our variable so i mean to say from the equation that we had earlier that was y is equal to 9 minus x squared we will change this one we will manipulate this one so that we can isolate the value of x and replace it to our equation as our function so that being said um, 9 minus y is equal to x squared and for us to um, eliminate the squared here we just have to square this both sides so now x is equal to square root of 9 minus y so that being said we can already substitute this one to our function or to our equation which is this one so that being said a is equivalent to square root of 9 minus y dy and the limits will also be changed that that is from 0 to 9 if you can remem remember earlier however this one this equation is just for the first quadrant so if you can remember we used two quadrants earlier we have this one so i to say this is the dy of the first quadrant this is also the dy of the second quadrant but since this is just symmetrical we can just multiply this one by two so that being said we have two zero to nine square root of nine minus y dy now we can also change this one as exponential form later. So if we let our u as equivalent to 9 minus y, our du will be negative dy. So as you can see, there's no negative sign here. So we just have to put that later on. So that being said, we have negative 2 from 0 to 9, u raised to 1 half since this is square root. And that is also equivalent to 1 half. And then we have our du. Now, integrating this one, we have negative 2u raised to 3 halves divided by 3 halves. And then we have our limits from 0 to 9. Now, we need to replace this one first with its original value. So, we have um, negative 2 times 2, that is negative 4. And then our u, that was 9 minus y, raised to 3 halves, all over 3, that is from 0 to 9. So substituting, we have negative 4 times 9 minus 9, raised to 3 halves, all over 3, minus our lower limit, which is negative 4, 9 minus 0, raised to 3 halves, all over 3 so as you can see 9 minus 9 is al also 0 so meaning to say this will be 0 so for this one negative times negative so we will have a positive number so meaning to say this is equivalent to positive if you calculate this one this is equivalent to positive 36 square units so this is now our final answer.